What's going on guys, this is Makai Saiyan. I'm bringing you guys the deets on JJK Curse Clash. As you guys know, July 1st at Anime Expo, the game was announced. It's coming out on all systems. However, did you guys know that in Japan, only the PlayStation 5 and Switch versions will have both physical and digital. The other systems, you can only buy this game on digital. That's right, Xbox people in Japan and potentially in other territories, if you want to play this game physically, you gotta get a Switch or you gotta get a PS5. I don't know what made them do that, but it could be due to demographics and people likely buying the game and to save money by not making physical copies. This game is being developed by Biking, same people behind Once Justice in its sequel. There are people who played those games, myself included. I don't have a problem with those games. They're decent. They're not the best anime games. Though, are they fun? Yes. And it's something I could play for a while. JJK is a series that I know of. I know the main characters. I've been watching a little bit of it. And am I excited? I want to see what evolves from this. I really hope something evolves from this. Bandai Namco, publisher as always. Announced that this game does not have a release date, but it will have one player locally and up to four players online. Kind of sounds similar to J-Star's Victory Versus. Also, Bandai gave an overview for this game. JJK Curse Clash, or official name Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash, is a 3D action brawler where players create a team from the anime's cast of Jujutsu Sorcerers and Cursed Spirits and unleash powerful attacks with the series' famed Cursed Techniques in 2v2 combat. The arena brawls in JJK Cursed Clash lets fans play through and relive the original story and action of Jujutsu Kaisen where protagonist Yuji Itadori and a cast of unforgettable characters defend humanity against monsters known as curses in modern day Japan. The game remains faithful to the original work with visuals inspired by the series distinct aesthetics with a selection of more than 15 favorite fighters to choose from and featuring intense action and explosive animation. In Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash, players will be able to select their own 2v2 teams, each capable of executing a wide array of powerful tag team attacks and combos. Different character combinations will have unique synergies and power dynamics. By completing battles, players increase their fighting power level, unlocking stronger attacks as they progress. Taking all that into account, we learn a couple things. This game will have 15 playable characters. The roster will include sorcerers and cursed spirits. You will be able to create a team with anybody. So we could have Yuji and Sakuna, potentially. Gojo and his old friend, uh, Gege. Please tell me how to pronounce that right. And just some other words, such as the story mode will go over the story of Jujutsu Kaisen. Probably similar to how it was with Lunch Justice. Taking all this into account, it's safe to say that this made you do pretty well. I like the trailer. It wasn't super over the top. It just it showed a game that would likely be fun to play. If you are a fan of Jujutsu Kaisen, this might be a game that you will likely look forward to playing. And when do I expect us to get more deets on this game? Perhaps at the end of the summer at Gamescom, or perhaps we can hear more about it at Tokyo Game Show. And of course, let's not forget the infamous Jump Festa. Give me your thoughts on this. That being said, I am Makai San, and I'll catch you guys later.